Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, your audience is what makes you the person that you will be remembered for and remembered for what you have said in that day. The problem is, you might have so much information with you, but will you be able to deliver it for them to accept it? Most of the time, we find ourselves in situations where we want to give, but we realize that people don't accept what we are giving. Or now and then, have you ever find yourself in a situation where you give a speech, but when you sit down, you realize nobody was intrigued. Nobody felt me. Nobody could flow with me. And nobody could follow me properly. But at the end of the day, you realize I have to do something. It can't go on like that. Now and then, you are not even aware that people don't follow you. Because it happens that people don't follow you. You will stand and you will speak. You will go and sit. Did they follow me? Certainly not. Will you know? Most of the time, not. Unless it is a, a rude crowd of people, we will just move out one by one and we will just remain alone speaking. Unfortunately, now and then, you are forced to speak for the whole day. There are occasions where you will be speaking for the whole day. And once you start speaking for the whole day, you are in big trouble because everybody will go. What is the secret? The secret is What is the secret? The secret is you have to find out more about what you are dealing with. You have information to impact your people, but you yourself have a homework to do. You have to do your own research before you speak to people, before you speak to your audience, before you want to cock a hoop, your audience. You must make your homework. Your research will take you a step further because you will find different type of people in your research. You will find, as you do your research, what type of people will I talk to? For example, the age range, would it be youth development? Would it be young men? Would it be old people? Would it be male or female? What would the ratio be? The people that I'm going to talk about, for example, in forum, we are male only. But do you know the day that we will have a special function where we will have invited our partners to come? What will you say? Because I can say whatever I want to say here, now, but will I say it when there are visitors or when there are other people, when there are women, ladies, and so forth? If you know your audience will come prepared and you will know what to do, when, when, when they are here. The status of people, occupational status, economic status, their, their educational background, their political orientation. Do you know all those things? Do you know what type of politics are they following? For example, I was invited to a DA club. And I arrived there, a lot of DA people. But my speech was about Zuma and Malema. <laughs> <laughs> And the only question I asked myself, how am I going to deliver this speech? Because I've prepared it, and according to my manual, this is what I'm supposed to do, and I can't change it. So after reading the people, I realized there is something that I can do, and try to acclimatize it to my audience, so that they must be receptive to what I'm giving them, even if I'm mentioning Zuma and Malema. And at the end of the day, I got a standing applause. Because I could read them and immediately say, hmm, this is what I'm going to say. But more than that is to keep the attention of the audience. Because if you speak, you must look at your audience and see, are they with you? Are they playing with you? Are they playing with you? 
Because if you are most of the time in your notes, you won't see the audience. Or if you just talk over their heads, you won't see their reaction. But if you know your story, and if you have done your homework before time, you will know the small room, and the only way to know is if you come early to the meetings. For example, today, did we know we come to the small room? No, we are used to the big room. What about the acoustics of this room? If you come early, you can program yourself. The seating arrangement, do you know the lightning? How good will it be? Now and then there won't be lights, you won't see, or you will forget your glasses at home. How do you play around that? It's only prior preparation. If you know that, you will do it properly. One of the other things is the te temperature control. When the situation force you to take off jackets, put on jackets, or people, deal with people, or talk to people, or will you be overheated and start sweating as you speak or doing things? The outside noise, what if a truck is passing or vehicles are passing? How do you control the situation? Because you have to ask yourself those questions before you start speaking. And once you start speaking, those things will happen. And if you are not prepared before time, you won't know if a truck passes, what must I do? Or if an aeroplane passes, or a helicopter starts hovering while you speak. What next? What must I And you start just speaking and nobody is listening because everybody is concentrated to the helicopter. Or a police siren just coming. Wee, 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 wee. Do you run out and go and look? Or are your people going out while you speak? Those are the questions that you must ask yourself. Prepare yourself. But the secret is, you must make sure that you go to your venue before time, most of the time. Or go early and look at the venue. Because you will find yourself speaking to a lot of strangers. What if that day only the president of the club comes? and the VPE, and a lot of visitors, and you come late. How would you handle the situation? Those are questions that we must ask ourselves as we prepare our speeches. The same applies time of the day. Is it in the morning, afternoon, night? What dress code will I follow? How, how will the people feel? Is, will it be after a meal or not? Those are questions that we must ask ourselves. What about breaks? We had a 10 minute break. Other breaks will be lengthy. Others, while you speak, you'll be speaking for an hour or two, maybe. How long will you speak? How many breaks will you have? Or how will you break up your speech as you speak to keep the people to listen to your information? By doing that, you have a way of approaching your audience. One of the other ways of approaching your audience is to know your audience. What do they know already? We know in Toastmasters, most of us know the manuals. We know our CC, competent communicator, we know it. So if I come here and speak about my CC, I must be aware that everybody knows it. And everybody has done it, maybe twice or three times. So am I so prepared? to rise above what you already know and come up with something better, something greater. If I go to the humorous manual, they know it. The question is, do I know it? If I go to entertainment manuals, they know it. Do I know it? A person must find out before time about that. If it's an organization, scan their publications, scan what they are having, look at what they are having already. What do those people know? Because if it's something that they know that you bring to them, then you are in trouble. Because once you open your mouth, they will start correcting you. Raise their hand, so you are wrong. Remember, they don't know you, you don't know them. The ones that you know, they will respect you. They will keep quiet. But there are those who will never keep quiet. If you have not done your homework, they will go to you because you will really want to leave the situation early enough and go. Now I then contact local officers. You know them. 
to say, listen, what type of people will be there? What is their attitude? How are they receptive? Why you have that right? Then you start moving in a certain direction. Consult references. There are people who have already spoken to those people. If possible, consult them. If possible, go to the internet, Google, and see. We have spoken to those people. We will tell you they are good people, nice people, good people, or what. You go prepare. You know your facts. You know what to expect. Talk with other presenters. And once you have done that, you have achieved something. The common objective is for you to achieve as you speak to everybody, as you speak to your audience, as you speak to people, is to fulfill what the audience are expecting. If the audience are expecting you to inspire them or to inform them, fulfill that, then they will be happy. They will go back informed. They will go back inspired. They will go back persuaded. They will go back entertained. That means you must work out your goal before you speak to them because you have done your homework. You know I'm going to entertain these people. I'm going to entertain my audience. I know them. I've done my homework. Then you will reach your personal objective, but mostly to one of the audience. And once you have it like that, you have done one of the most important things you have achieved, not only for yourself, but for your audience. If we can go back a little bit, we said you must know your audience in advance. That means you must do your research. You must be knowledgeable. You must be confident. Because if you have done your research, confidence will come automatically. If you have prepared, you will become confident. Because you are prepared. And the more you speak, the more confidence comes. You don't have to use notes. You don't have to use things to just speak. Because you know them, you've done your homework, you are more confident. And as you speak, the positive energy will come. You will feel more energetic and people will buy into you. They will start playing with you. They will start getting your facts. They will start understanding this is the direction Eric is taking. And they will follow you and you will feel as they follow you. And lastly, you will become a, a speaker-friendly audience. You will speak and the audience will be receptive, will be friendly, they will enjoy you, they will enjoy everything that you put in front of them. And by doing that, is you know your audience. And that is a benefit that you will give to your audience. They came for a reason to listen to you. Give them that benefit. And that benefit is when you know your audience. Mr. Toastmaster.